Good morning, everyone. This is the second day of Kick Festival. I'm here in Namur, Belgium, sleeping in a crazy castle, which yesterday was super creepy. But today, amazing views from the windows. I can he see horses. I can see fields. This is super crazy. I'm excited for this day. I'm gonna go check out this castle, see how it looks, grab breakfast, and then continue. Can you believe this thing? It's so beautiful. Yesterday it was so creepy, but today, just amazing place. This is their field here where they grow the vegetables that you eat in the castle later on. All right, yesterday's video finally finished uploading. This thing takes forever. Time to take a taxi and head to the conference. Bonjour. This is the event marketplace where a lot of startups exhibit their product that they're working on. Some pretty cool stuff going on here. What is this? This is a new musical instrument thing. Part of the exhibition is basically for little kids, but it's so fun. We had a great time here. Context itself is a medium. It's a medium to be artfully manipulated like, like one would shape an image with paint. I'm going one step further, I think context may actually be the only medium that matters when you do your work. That as a creative person, you are making your creative work in paint, pixels, live performance, fashion design, whatever it is. But you also are constantly thinking about the context for that work above all else. How it will be seen, how it will be interpreted, where and when will people consume it. And it won't be just one place, it'll be multiple contexts for your work. That was a really great and crazy lecture. I'm gonna look for Gadasi Webflow's designer to grab lunch with him. Thanks for the lunch, man. It was really fun, thank you. Cool. <laughs> It's been a pretty cool day so far, interesting talks, and now we're gonna go see the talk of Segmeister, which is one of the designers, really I used to admire him when I was just starting out. I would even say that he's one of the designers that influenced me to get into design, so I'm super excited about that talk, and then a party. And I think this is easily 
the most beautiful theater that I've ever spoken in. So, so it used to look like this in China, now looks like this in Beijing, but it used to look like this in South Africa, now looks like this in Johannesburg, look, used to look like this in Indonesia, now looks like this in Jakarta, used to look like this in Turkey, now looks like this in Istanbul. Now one big argument against beauty is always, oh well, it's in the eye of the beholder. I think one reason we designers don't answer a client question with, uh, that asks why did you do it this way, with because it's more beautiful, is because we fear that the client tells us, well, you know, you might find it beautiful, but I think it's ugly. And of course, there is a difference in taste. But roughly, it's only about 50%. There is an agreement among people worldwide, roughly in half of what we find beautiful. So it is part of who we are. And what does this mean? Number one, it's completely fine with an argument to talk to clients about beauty. I find that it just works much better. The results that we had from taking form seriously were truly astonishing. Thank you. <laughs>this day was really really great and interesting the concert right now was actually blew my mind it was so awesome and when we step outside we met Stefan Sagmeister told him that his talk was super super good and that's it I'm heading back to the hotel fucking freezing here I will catch you guys tomorrow